I'm sorry, but there's no time to get a tripod. Where are you? Beautiful little kangaroo in our grounds. Is it a wallaby or a kangaroo? Look, is it getting through the fence or something? A naughty little thing. Is it a boy or a girl? Listen to that buzz saw. I can't see properly. It had its head up a minute ago. Look, is she managing to get through? Oh, it's on the other side of the fence, I see. She can get through somehow, clever. Beautiful creature. All in my backyard. Look at her, she's listening to the buzz saw. Him. Hello, sweetie pie. Can she see me? Probably. Is that a red necked wallaby or something? Isn't it cute? It's just grazing quietly, isn't it? I'll see if I can creep over to that tree in front of me and lean on it. Look at this thick tail. It is its tail, I think. She's just eating quietly. Looks a bit like a deer, doesn't she? Her head. His head. I hope they have some babies. Wouldn't it be lovely to have little babies jumping around? Perhaps she's got a joey. Oh look, is there something in her pouch? Is that something there? Has she got a baby? Maybe it's a boy. I have to look on a larger screen. I like that. A baby, let's see, vertically. Look, is that a baby sticking its head out? It's under the casuarina tree now. I always wanted to film her, him. I've seen its traces for a long time but was never able to catch it. Here we are with a tripod. It should be a bit steadier. Just tightening it up a bit. There we are. There's a lovely kangaroo grazing quietly.
Has somebody got a joey? Look at those beautiful paws, aren't they wonderful? So beautiful, like just like our hands, aren't they, and arms? I think it's on the other side of the fence at the moment. Can it see me? Listen to the wind. What's hanging down underneath? Was that its testicles or a baby or its pouch or what? Perhaps I'm going to have little junior wallabies around here. That'll be fun. I'd like that. What's going on down there? Is that an umbilical cord or something? No, they're testicles, are they? I'm not an expert on kangaroos. I'm not. What is it? I can't see properly, it's too far away. If you know what they are, please tell me. Are they testicles? Of course, what am I talking about? The baby doesn't come out of the womb except when it's microscopic size and then it creeps up into the pouch. So it's actually sort of born in the pouch or grows in the pouch. So that means they must be testi <laughs> testicles, I suppose. I see. I'm not an expert. Hello, little boy. Where's your lady friend? Well, it's a nice sunny day and there's water available. I have seen a depiction like that on the one dollar note that Australia used to have where the animal's testicles were showing. I hope there's going to be a little female and a little baby joeys everywhere. That'll be nice. I hope some stupid neighbour doesn't decide to shoot it. A lot of people are gun happy in the country. You often hear gunshots going off. You do. You hear gunshots. It knows I'm here, doesn't it? And so I was thinking that a baby would come through its womb, but it comes out of the pouch, doesn't it? We don't usually have wallabies here. Well, I think we always did, but I mean, we don't usually see them. They get around at night time. This means a lot to me, seeing beautiful wallabies. I've always wanted that. This is my view, hang on. This is my view, pretty much. That's what I'm seeing. Isn't it lovely? I'll go and have my breakfast. It's after lunch already. See ya. A little bit closer now. It knows I'm here, it's seen me. I don't blame it for being a bit careful. I 
but that would have frightened it. I wonder how it gets over the fence. Perhaps it gets through the fence. No? There are all droppings around the yard, even at the back of our house, right up close. So it must come right up to the house at night time and drink water and eat gr grass or whatever. I should get an infrared camera, shouldn't I? And leave it out at night time. I wonder if it can ever find its way back to the forest. There's forest all around here, but it would have to cross the roads at night time. It can stay here indefinitely, but it should have a lady friend, shouldn't it really? grazing quietly. Somebody's been eating bark off the trees. I was wondering if it were the wallaby. It didn't do any harm. I just noticed that somebody's been nibbling bark and I don't usually see that. This is Australia anyway. Oops, I think it can hear me making a noise. It would be nice to see it doing some jumping, but I don't want to disturb it.
There could be more than one for all I know. Perhaps it's Aurora, the red kangaroo. I used to have a book when I was a child called Aurora, the red kangaroo. I think I'll leave it alone now.